Hello, and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, January 1st, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. Happy New Year! I am Mimi, and our energy mantra for today is I know the worth of embodying my purpose in 2016. And here we are, 2016, beginning a new year. And it's so interesting because I'm, I'm looking at the astro, I'm like, and it just keeps going. <laughs> the astro lessons, the evolution of, I think, our consciousness. I think that's kind of what the astro kind of tracks is like us evolving our consciousness, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. Um, so the new year begins, and yet we keep trucking along. And I love our first aspect that we're starting the day with. We have the moon in Libra. Libra bringing harmony, bringing a sense of peace, hopefully, <laughs> to this new year. And it's connecting, sextile, happy connection to Venus in Sagittarius. I love this connection. It's happening at two degrees, which is a degree of nurturing. So this is a thing that reminds us, this aspect, this uh, connection to begin the year, reminds us that love starts here. Love starts with us loving, nurturing, caring for ourselves. And then it spreads outward. Venus and Sagittarius, we're looking at opening, opening in love to those around us, including the crazy makers. There's one of those back there. <laughs> so we're expanding in love and we're expanding in harmony, but it begins here. <laughs> Good reminder good way to kick off the new year. We then have the uh, the Mercury. Mercury shifting into Aquarius. So I want to mention that Mercury is going to be at 29 degrees again through most of the day. Mercury is slowing down because it's about to go retrograde. So, you know, usually it just rushes through the degrees and right now it's a little bit slow. This is reminding us to be clear about our purpose. Spend some time today looking at what you want to bring into your life in 2016. On a conscious level, do you want to bring more peace? Do you want to bring even more consciousness? Do you want to bring more awareness to who you are? I will be working through my journals. I have got the Danielle Laporte journals and I'm going to be working through them and really desire mapping, looking into what I want to bring into my life and focusing on that with Mercury at 29 degrees and then shifting into Aquarius. I really like Mercury in Aquarius. Um, I think it's a great time to actually listen. Our mind is going to be stimulated. Our mind has idea, 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 idea. But at the same time, I really feel like Aquarius is a time where higher guidance comes in. So, you know, look to your team. I added Dr. Wayne Dyer to my team last year. My dad, a dear friend, Mary Slowick. Um, you know, listen to those guides, those people who maybe are not here in the physical anymore, but have an expanded awareness and listen to what they want to bring to you. Listen. Um, that shift is happening at 6, 18 p.m. And I want to remind you, Mercury is in its shadow. And anytime it does shift, things can get a little bit wonky. So if it's a little bit wonky for you, have patience. Hold that peace vibration. It's, it's not you. And it's not uh, personal. It is just kind of astro electricity going on and shifting things. Um, we also have the sun connecting to the moon. So the sun in Capricorn connecting to the moon in Libra. This is a square. So this is our only like kind of like, ooh, what does that feel like aspect going on today? That may shift our peace. We may be like, oh, 2016. You may like start writing down your things like, oh, I have so much to do and it makes you feel bad. This is at 11 degrees. So this is meant to be healing. If something, you know, comes up like that, if you feel that resistance, take a step back. Take a step back, find your way back into your heart and find your way back into listening. The final aspect of the day is the moon in Libra connecting to Saturn in Sagittarius at 11 degrees, bringing healing. Again, there's a lot of this 11 degrees today, which is such a great, I don't know, degree to kick off the year on. Um, and I think this is, again, taking us back to ourselves, responsibility to ourselves, remind, reminding us that our life is all about our responsibility to it, how we are showing up in response to what's going on in our life. And remembering that life isn't happening to you, it's happening for you. So how are you working with that energy? So the cards that I pulled, oh, the first card, I keep pulling this, the mind card. I pulled this um, 
when Nicole and I did our GNO this week, I pulled this card for 2016. Your mind is going to be a really good friend to you this year, or it could trip you up. Work with it, or, you know, fight it. It's your choice. It's your responsibility. How are you going to work with the mind? Are you going to let it do this to you, or are you going to work with it and let it bring peace to you? And I feel like when we work with it, when we really acknowledge what's going on consciously, we get into this, air, uh, this realm of maturity, knowing who we are, being whole, one with who we are. And then we're working with source. We are working with God energy, creative energy. So, you know, this is a pretty amazing start to the year. Do with it what you will. So that's it for today. Have a beautiful first day of 2016. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.